All right, guys. So I have a whole lot of coins here sitting, waiting for you. And what we're going to be doing in this next part is we're going to be working with a certain amount of money and showing that we can make that amount of money more than one way. So for an example, I have 59 cents. So if I want to make 59 cents, there is several ways I can do that. I'm only showing you two, but there are more than just two ways. So one way we want to always show is the one that uses the least amount of coins. So the first one that I have on top is 59 cents showing two quarters, a nickel, and four pennies. This is using the least amount of coins possible. I could not use any fewer coins than this to show 59 cents. And then down here, I also have 59 cents, but I have it shown a different way. This time I have five dimes to make my 50, my nickel, and my four pennies. So all I did is I exchanged these two quarters, which was 50 cents, for five dimes to make 50 cents. Another way I could do it is I could start with one quarter. I could exchange some of these dimes for nickels. There's so many different ways. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this little goodbyes poster that we're going to be using. And on this goodbyes poster, right, we have lots of different items. We have fruit, vegetables, meats and proteins, milk, grains, and other items. So we're gonna do two of them together. I'm gonna switch back and forth um, between looking at the poster and looking at coins. And we're going to find two different ways to make the same amount of money. We're gonna do two together, and then I'm gonna ask for you to do two on your own. This is exactly what we would be doing in our math journal page if we had them. And instead, we're just going to be doing it on a piece of paper. So the first thing we wanna buy is a can of tuna fish, which is this guy right here. And a can of tuna fish costs 69 cents. So we're gonna show two ways to make 69 cents. Before we go to the next slide, I want for you to write it out on your own. So you're gonna pause the video, and while the video is paused on a piece of paper, you're going to write out two ways to show 69 cents using quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Try to use one way with the least amount of coins possible, and then whatever your other way is, as long as it makes 69 cents, it works. Even if you can't find the least amount of coins possible, I just need it to add up to 69 cents, no matter what way you do it. Once you're done, you're going to unpause the video and you're going to come back so that we can look at some of the options. All right, so you should have your two ways written out. I'm going to show you my two ways. Perhaps we came up with similar ones. So to show 69 cents, one way I can do it is two quarters, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69 cents. So that's two quarters, a dime, a nickel, and four pennies. Another way that I can do it is I can start with one quarter, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So I can have two quarters, a dime, a nickel, four pennies. I can have a quarter, four dimes, four pennies. I could have all dimes, a nickel, and four pennies. I could have all nickels and pennies. Right? No matter which way I do it, I'm always going to end up with four pennies because that's how I make that nine. But the other coins that you use, it could look very different. This is just two ways. There are many other ways. But as long as it equals up to 69 cents, then you are right on the money. All right, let's take a look at our next one. Now we're going to buy some gluten-free bread down here. I love that they have gluten-free bread, right? Something that I can buy on this poster. And it's going to cost us 99 cents for that loaf of bread. So we're going to show two ways to make 99 cents. This is not a dollar. It is one cent less than a dollar. So you cannot put a dollar bill because it does not equal a dollar. It's 99 cents. Pause the video, come up with two ways. When you're ready, come back to me. All right, let's take a look. You should have two ways, and here are my two ways. I did three quarters to make 75, plus two dimes to make 95, and then my four pennies to make 99. And then I also tried another way with two quarters to make 50, four dimes to make 90, a nickel to make 95, and four uh, pennies to make 99. You could have done nine dimes, a nickel, and four pennies, you could have done one quarter and more dimes, so many different ways, but these are just two of them. 
All right. So now what I'm going to ask for you to do is you are going to now choose two other items on this poster, whatever it is that you want, two other items. You are going to write how much that item costs and write two different ways to show that amount. So if you chose, let's say, the bananas, you would show two ways to make 59 cents. If you did the lunch meat, Okay, you can show two ways. And if you have something that is more than 99 cents, you've got a dollar there, you can use dollar bills. So you can use one dollar bill and then your coins. You could also use four quarters for that dollar. So I want for you to choose two different items. And then I want for you to draw out two different ways to make that amount of money. Because we need to know that when we are trying to pay for something, there is more than one way to pay for it. If I have a pocket full of change, it doesn't mean that I can't buy something that's a dollar and fifty cents. It just means that I don't have a dollar bill. But I might have enough coins in my pocket. If I don't have three quarters for seventy-five cents, it's okay because maybe I have seven dimes and a nickel. It's important for us to understand that when we are paying for something, when we are adding up money, there is more than one way to do it because math is more than just a one-way street. All right, guys, if you want to take pictures and send them to me of the items that you chose and the money you came up with, that would be great. I would love for you to even maybe try more than two if you wanted to get some extra practice. All right, that's it for math today. I will see you again tomorrow.